Hey guys, it's Shayla here. Welcome to my highlight and contour tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how to slay that contour, honey. The first step to my face routine is just making sure my skin looks nice and glowy and radiant. I start by using the Versali Gold Beauty Elixir. So basically what this does is it, it just adds extra hydration and radiance to my skin and it also has 24 karat gold, y'all. So next is the Tarte Clean Slate Primer. I use this every day. This is super mattifying, so if you get oily in your T-zone, you're gonna love it. Literally with my nail, I'll just like dip in there. I know that, I don't know if that looks gross or not, but this is all you guys need. So this is gonna give your skin a nice even surface so that when your foundation goes on, it looks nice and smooth. So I'm gonna start by applying the Cover FX liquid foundation all over my face. This is color N80. In the winter, sometimes I'll go down to 70, but this is pretty much my shade. You just wanna apply a little bit of the Cover FX foundation onto your beauty blender like so. Just right on top of it. Oh shit. That literally just fell onto the floor. Oh crap. But basically apply the foundation directly onto the Beauty Blender. So I usually just kind of dot all over the face and then I just really dab the foundation all over. I like to use a Beauty Blender because I feel like it blends and it gives you full coverage. I just love the sound of sirens and Titus snoring while I film my YouTube video, that's nice. So you wanna just keep applying this until you get the coverage that you like. I like medium to full coverage. I just like my skin to look super flawless. You can always add more to the Beauty Blender if you feel like you haven't got the coverage that you desire. Mm-hmm, nice and even. Okay, the next step is using your LA Girl Cosmetics Concealer in pure beige under the eyes. I freaking love this concealer because it's like $3.99, you guys, and it's HD. So you basically just wanna apply it under the eyes, on the nose. You don't really have to be so picky with how you apply this. So use that exact same beauty blender that you use for your foundation to blend in the concealer. And I'm using like a medium pressure and I'm really just kinda like pressing and tapping it so you never want to like wipe off the foundation like this, like no, 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 that's a no, no. You always just want to press and pack it on. So after I apply the LA Girl Concealer, I always like to set it with the setting spray. So this is Urban Decay D Slick, and you just want to spray your Beauty Blender. This is actually um, the second Beauty Blender I'm using, so I always use, have two Beauty Blenders when I do my makeup. So I'm literally just pressing right under the eyes where you crease up. So while that's setting under the eyes, it's still, like I can feel that it's kind of moist, I'm gonna contour my cheeks. So I'm using the Velvet 59 Contour Kit. Here I'm gonna use both of these colors, I think. So use that same Beauty Blender that you use to set your concealer. Dip it into the lightest color first. And you wanna start by applying it at the most shallow part of your cheeks. So this isn't too dark, but it's gonna add a little bit of contour and depth to the face. So you can even see the difference, like it's just a little bit of depth to the face. I personally don't like having a super dark contour on my cheek and then trying to blend that out. I'd rather have something that's a little more subtle. Put a little bit on my neck here. Now let's go in with a darker shade from the Velvet 59 palette. Okay, so this shade is a little bit darker, so just make sure that you only have a tiny bit on your Beauty Blender, and then gradually add more as you need. See how it's like dark? Put this on both cheeks, and blend it out. So if you kind of like do that, that like, do that kind of face, you can kind of see where like the most, I guess, hollow part of your cheek is, and that's basically where your contour should go. Okay, I can feel that that first concealer is dry. So with that same sponge you used to apply your first concealer, you're going to use your second concealer. Yes, two concealers, people, that's what you need. I'm using MAC Pro Longwear in NC42. So this is a long wearing concealer. This is just gonna make sure that the under eyes look professional. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely just do the one concealer, call it a day, 
Or you can add two and be extra. I mean, I'm always down to be extra, so we're doing two concealers. So dot the concealer under the eye and blend it in. Also gonna apply a little bit down the center of the nose. Okay, this is the most important part, guys. So when you get close to the nose area, instead of stopping like this, what you wanna do is squeeze the sponge and you wanna almost bring the concealer in, creating like a line here. So if you look closely, you can kind of see like if I just, if I squeeze the sponge and then get it really close to my nose, it almost gives the illusion that this area comes all the way in and it creates like a natural contour. So you don't have to add like two dark lines. So if you guys can kind of see, and you want to do that on both sides of the nose. So you really, the trick is to bring the concealer all the way to the <laughs> oh my god, Titus snoring during my tutorial is, is actually hilarious. So you want to bring the concealer on both sides and it's just going to create the illusion of a contour down the center of your nose. I hate those two lines down the center. I hate it. I hate when people have two lines down their nose. Really all you need is concealer. If you highlight, you'll get a natural contour. I'm going to put a little bit on my forehead. Okay, another important part, and yes, I look super bright, which is okay, we're gonna tone it down, don't freak out. Another thing that I like to do is, the same sponge I use for my concealer, I'm actually gonna draw a line under the contour. And I really just like to use like what's left over. So next I'm gonna apply MAC Mineralized Powder in Dark Tan with my Sigma Powder Brush. This is actually the F30 brush. Not only is this adding like a bronze look to my skin, it's setting my foundation. Don't forget the neck, people. Mm -mm. See these baby hairs trying to creep out? Mm -mm. Now that we've set our foundation with the powder, you want to set your concealer. I'm going to be using Studio Fix in C6 with my Sigma F35 brush. So make sure that you have a decent amount on the brush, and I'm just gonna press this under my eyes. This is gonna set the concealer. If I just go straight into baking, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be a little too bright under my eyes. Apply some under the cheek, the nose, a little bit on the forehead. So the Studio Fix powder does add a little bit of extra coverage. It also is setting my concealer. This is the one thing, you guys, that nobody likes to talk about that they do and they always leave out. And I'm telling you guys, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, so this is probably the one thing that everybody asks me about, it's baking. So I'm gonna use Laura Mercier Translucent Powder with my sponge that I used to contour with. I am gonna dip the sponge into the powder like so. You don't want it to be like clumpy on the sponge though. I'm going to press this under my eyes. You want to apply it on the nose as well. Make sure that when you bake, you really apply it over the creases under your eyes. I like to also bake up in here because I get shiny and this will help like absorb the oil and whatnot. I'm gonna bake under my cheek for like two seconds. For some reason, if I leave this here too long, it looks like really white. So literally just bake and then with your large powder brush, wipe it off real quick. So basically we're just gonna let this bake for about three minutes. So after a couple minutes pass, use that same F35 brush and dust off the loose powder. Boop, 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 boop. See how nice. <laughs> See how nice that is though. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit more powder just to blend out between the areas where we baked and we didn't. So it's not so like strikingly bright. Now let's use our angled blush brush from Marc Jacobs and the Gear Lawn 07 bronzer. I know this is like a lot, but if you guys want 
to have a face that's snatched and slayed, you gotta do it. This is what you gotta do. So use a Marc Jacobs angled blush brush and apply the bronzer on the outside of the cheeks, basically over your contour and your jawline. I don't think you guys realize how amazing this bronzer is. It's like probably the most expensive thing that I own, but it's well worth it, I promise. You guys need to find someone that works at freaking Saks to give you that discount. Okay. Shoot, that's what I need. Okay, this is the fun part. Just like with everything else, I'm gonna be extra and use two highlighters. You definitely don't have to do this, you guys. I can't stress this enough, but I love to do it. So this is the Tarte Skin Twinkle Highlighter, and I'm gonna use the darkest shade with my Sephora fan brush. This darker color is more of like a champagne. It just looks better on me. So on the highest point of your cheek, just go back and forth. Ooh, do you guys see it happening? Yes. Okay, I just kind of OD'd right now, but <laughs> put a little bit above the mouth, highlight that mouth, and then on the nose. I'm just living right now. Okay, next let's use the Becca Topaz highlighter with that same fan brush. So this is perfect if you guys have like a deeper skin tone and you feel like a lot of highlighters are too bright or pearly or like white looking, this is perfect. It's more of like a bronze shade. Ooh, yes. This also gives me life, you know? So I like to mix the two because one of them is more bronzy and the other one has more of like a pearly look to it. So you just get all types of life when you mix them. I'm just like... I feel like I could just stop here and be done. Like, I feel like this is good enough. Like, this is just so pretty. I can't, I can't, like, I just can't. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I haven't done any hair flips. Yes. Okay, so the last step to my highlight and contour routine is my blush. So your blush should be applied in between your cheek highlight and your contour kind of overlapping both of them, you know, it just blends everything together. I'm using Score from Urban Decay with that same Marc Jacobs angled brush. Yes, life. So when you apply your blush, you always want to start on the outside of the cheek and then kind of come forward and then go back. So back and forth in a downward motion. Ooh. She's coming together. I hope you guys enjoyed my highlight and contour tutorial. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe to my channel. Last but not least, strut and slay.